What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today, we've been here before, man. We beat the Chargers last week, 41-20. to 20. We got a bye week in week number three. And now we're going to be taking on the Chargers in San Diego this time. When it comes to the AFC Players of the Week for week number two, you got Chris Johnson. And then you got Casey Eaton. One form of recovery and one touchdown. That's all it took. It should be special teams player of the week because I have it on the special teams unit. But, hey, it is what it is. I'm going to take it. Also, for week two, you got Larry Fitzgerald and Big John outside linebacker for the Panthers. Three tackles, one second interception, and two former recoveries. For week number three in the NFC, you got Jeremy Macklin, eight catches, 98 yards, three touchdowns, and Leroy Hill. Five tackles, one sack, one pick, one forced fumble. He's also the NFL Player of the Week, along with Vince Young, representing the AFC. You see those numbers there. And then Michael Richardson, free safety, four tackles, two sacks, one forced fumble as a Houston Texan. So both Texans are out there doing their thing. That's right. Vince Young, back home, playing for Houston. His backup is Drew Brees, as we take on Drew Brees' old team. I guess we could say one of his many old teams in this universe. Anyways, man, we are 2-0, taking on the 0-3 San Diego Chargers. The Raiders and the Chiefs are both 3-1. Wheatley from the inside of the zone. End zone gets up past the 20 by about a foot. So first down and 10, we're going to give it to Jamal Charles. Look at the block. Look at the fish. The running ability, absolutely phenomenal. 96 overall, free agent. We bring him in on a big-time deal. Hopefully, he can be that big-time piece to get us to that Super Bowl. Second down and five now. Tebow taking the shot deep. And Megatron getting a hold of him. Breaks the tackle inside the 10 and drops at the 8-yard line. Tim Tebow put that thing on a frozen rope. We know about his arm talent when it comes to accuracy, 96 overall accuracy. I believe he bumped it up to maybe 99 for this season, but his throw power isn't there. Matter of fact, I take that back. We bumped up his throw power this year. So third and goal, play fake now. Tebow under pressure, and Roland Nelson gets in there. For the sack, the linebacker came in screaming. We got to set up for a field goal. Kick is up, and the kick is good. The Broncos, we strike first three. Nothing is the score. So Kelvin Kirby works his way up past the 20-yard line to the 22. They're going to empty the backfield for Marcus Milliard. He's actually a pretty solid quarterback. I looked at his career numbers, and he, he really isn't that bad. But, you know, quarterbacks sometimes get judged off of wins and losses, and the San Diego Chargers haven't been winning that much. And they always lose versus us, it seems like. But here comes Derek McCaffrey down that left sideline for a first down. Get him involved. They go off the gut with him again. Met in the hole by Ricky Harris, but it's a game of five. Miller looking downfield, caught by Anthony McCoy. And Miller is looking awfully poised to start the ball game today. Gets away from Calais Campbell. Throws a deep pass. And it's going to be caught by Tim Field. So he got away from Calais Campbell. He still got hit. And he put that thing on a frozen rope, touchdown charges, and just like that, they got the lead. So Wheatley gets met at the 25-yard line. We're going to get the ball to number 25 to start the drive, and Jamal Charles brought down at the 29-yard line, gain of four. Going to give it to him again, brought down at the line of scrimmage. There goes Nelson with another big hit. So third down and six, Tebow throws it, and again, his accuracy is a whole nother, is on a whole nother level. Our man Megan trying to have 67 yards receiving so far. Charles picks up a game of five right there. We go to him in the flat, and we definitely want to utilize his passing receiving ability. Or receiving ability is pass. You know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, Charles to the left side makes another catch. And that's going to be a gain of eight. So from the 39-yard line, going to give it to Rowe. And Joel Rowe will pick up a first down to end the first quarter of play. So to start the second quarter, second down and 17 already. Right, T-Ball running for his life, and he gets us back to the original line of scrimmage plus a couple. So third down and seven now. Tebow looking, throwing it to Sarah, who makes the catch. The rookie receiver coming through when we need him to. Looking to the future. We have him. We're going to have to give one of our receivers a new deal, talking about O.J. Mitchell, who is out for the season, or Demarius Thomas. They're going to fire that thing to Shields, and Otis Shields makes the catch. He fumbled the football out of bounds. First down, Chargers. We send a four-man rush, not going to get there. That gives Marcus Miller plenty of time to find Tim Field. Miller going to find Alex Smith, the one-time titan of the Buccaneers, makes the catch right there. They go up the gut, McCaffrey. Able to pick up two yards there, brought down by McMillan, our rookie middle linebacker. The ball is loose. I believe that 
Derek Chandler forced it. Derek McCaffrey fumbled it, and we recover it. We did not get the tackle with our man Chandler, but he was able to get that football up out of there. We find Demarius Thomas, good catch, good game. Gonna find Jamal Charles, a better catch and a better game here from the 40. All the way inside Charger territory is that Charger 36 yard line. Play fake, looking downfield. Tebow lets the fly to Antonio Gates. He's also playing for a contract where all these Broncos are playing for a Super Bowl. We're eight for eight for Tebow. Can you make it nine for nine and feel fine? Yes, we can. RJ, he gets his first career touchdown reception. Our rookie tied in right there. He has all the talent in the world. They're gonna fire this one to McCaffrey. Down that right side on McCaffrey. Loose. 10, five, touchdown, give him six. So the Chargers are going blow for blow with the best team in the AFC West. They're bringing up the rear in the AFC West like they typically do season in and season out, but I guess it might not be their quarterback's fault. Charles to the left side is going to pick up seven there. Now we got the jumbo package, two tight ends, two backs, and both backs are full backs. I'm going to get the ball to McLean for a first down. From the 33, we give it to 33, brought down by Nelson, who bulldogged our fullback in front of McLean and got to McLean to bring him down. That hit knocks that ball loose. So third down to five. Under some pressure is Tebow. He throws it, and that pass is broken up. So the Chargers put up a roadblock that we can't get around. Miller gets away from Kramer on the safety blitz. Going to find Tim Field, brought down by McMillan. First down up to the 32. And throw the ball to the left side. Tight coverage broken up by Craig Chandler. Second down and 10. Miller going to the left side again, and that pass caught by Field. Gets away from Harris, brought down by Chandler. First down up to the 48-yard line, gain of 16. Number 16 for the Chargers, looking like he's Joe Montana from back in the day. Miller going to fire this one deep downfield. That pass caught by Anthony. Big time catch right there. Move those chains. They drop it off, and that pass will fall incomplete. So second down and 10. Miller throws it to the left side. Caught by Tim Field, but not in bounds. So this is a chance for the Broncos defense to get off the field. Third down and 10, and he throws a strike. Tim Field and Marcus Miller are looking like Montana and Rice. So they go up the gut, and Hilliard is there for the stop. Our big D tackle, but on second down and goal. Milliard to field. That's a touchdown. Seven catches, a buck, oh, six, and a couple of touches for Tim Field. Wheatley, he works his way up to the 26 yard line. First down and 10. Tebow has a man open. It's Jamal Charles. I believe that's catch number four for him, I believe. Second down and inches. Jamal Charles open again. Why not throw it to him again? He's going to get out of bounds with a nice stiff arm. 41 seconds on the clock from the 42-yard line. The protection is decent. Gonna throw this one deep. Megatron has a step, but he dropped the pass. Second down and 10 now. Tebow looking for Demarius Thomas. A one yellow jacket lets you down. Another one might pick you up. And there goes Demarius Thomas to the 28-yard line. First down and 10. Tebow steps up. Gonna fire to Jamal Charles. He is absolutely eating in the passing game. Gets all the way down inside the five. First and goal. Play fake for Charles. Tebow rolling right, has to throw it awkwardly, and we're lucky that pass was an interceptor. Second down to go, seven seconds on the clock. Tebow looking for Demarius Thomas. Touchdown for DT, and we have ourselves a three-point lead. So 21-24, Kelvin Kirby, weaves through traffic, brought down by Stevens, and Eaton, who was the NFC Player of the Week, Week two is shaking up. That's not a good look. He's an ace on special teams as a rookie already. Those, they were the numbers. Fairly even. And it's a pretty even ball game. Surprisingly, Marcus Miller has it from the gun. Throws a strike to Otis Shields. And that's going to be a first down brought down by Ricky Harris. Miller to the left side. And it didn't look like anybody was in the area. And he was inside the pocket. So that got to be intentional downing. And it is. So second down and 20 now. Miller has it. He's going to fire this one deep, and that pass is caught by Kirby right in front of Cox. It's going to be a first down. They go up the gut, and Tommy Harris gets in there for the takedown. The TFL is going to be a loss of four. They throw it to Derek McCaffrey, brought down by Porter McMillan. Now Miller throws it to Kirby, and on third down, he connects the dots again. They give it to Jacob Hester. Harris is there for the stop. Gain a six in that last play. They throw the ball. That pass will be caught, and that will be a decent gain. It gets him one yard closer to the first down marker, and then Anthony McCoy will get the job done there. They run the ball, and that's going to be a gain of three. 
They run the ball again, and that's going to be a first down. So they got it set up first down and go for the three-yard line. Wildcat formation, and Kendall Cates gets to the backfield. Gets in the backfield. There was a pass play, so it will be an incomplete pass. They run the ball with McCaffrey, gets a yard. They fake it to McCaffrey. They throw it to the end zone, Tim Field. Touchdown reception number three. So this passing attack is a little bit too hot to handle for us. Wheatley's going to get this one up to about the 25, make it the 26-yard line. We're going to have to match this team score for score from here on out. Charles makes the catch, makes the guy miss. He's going to have another first down. He has been the leading receiver today. And the Marius Thomas and Megatron both have had good afternoons as he brings it in again. Toe drag swag for the Marius Thomas from the 43-yard line. Up that gut. Jamal Charles is loose. Now the Charger in the frame as he high steps across the goal line. Touchdown, Denver. Touchdown, Broncos. So the Broncos in about five plays take it coast to coast. And we have a touchdown up on the board. McCaffrey going to weave through traffic and pick up a first down. They're going to give it to McCaffrey again. Breaking tackle still on his feet and brought down by Tremaine Blunt. Gain of seven. McCaffrey again gets the carry. Hilliard is there for the stop. And if they want to get physical right now, they're winning the physical battle. But there goes Porter McMillan, our rookie inside linebacker, bringing down McCaffrey. Miller fires it. And look at Kramer batting that thing away. Third and six. Can we get off the field here? Miller throws it. And it's another third down conversion as he finds Kirby. McCaffrey gets the carry. Kendall Cates in your backfield. Loss of two. Second down and 12. That pass is incomplete. Third down and 12, three-man rush. We're going to play coverage, and the coverage gets beat. Hugh Anthony with a huge catch. Miller gets away from Calais Campbell, throws it up, and Kramer almost had an interception. We are working on his hands in training camp, and we still have some more work to do. That pass caught by Kirby, and now that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter. So fourth quarter action, third down and seven. They're going to run the ball with the fullback. I love it, but not today. Or maybe that was the backup tailback. But all I know is they shouldn't have done it. And they got to set up for a field goal, which will tie the game at 31 off. So we take over. We're going to get the ball to Jamal Charles. And there goes Nelson again. Rolling Nelson could be a menace for years to come. That pass caught by Johnson. Johnson going to work his way upfield for a first down. 39-yard line. We get the ball to Charles. And Charles gets met at around the 45. Just holding on the play, so bring it all the way back to the 29. First down and 20. Gonna give it to Charles. He's gonna pick up maybe five. And we're up to the 34-yard line, second down and 15. A quick pass to Demarius Thomas. They sent that corner on the blitz. We read it perfectly. Sets up third down and two. Quick pass to Hilliard. And Hilliard is loose. We have two Hilliards, a Milliard, and everything you need in the cupboard. We're gonna run that thing with McMillan, and he gets brought down by Sylvester. Second down and 12. Tebow throws it quickly. Megatron makes the catch. So we are in field goal range with Crosby's powerful leg. But we do not want to set up for three as Tebow's weaving through traffic and he's going to pick up a first down. From the 17, we run the ball with Charles, a roll block. But we do pick up a yard. Second down and nine. Tebow rolling left. Throws it to the back of the end zone. Megatron hauls it in. Touchdown, Calvin Johnson. And the Broncos have taken the lead. Kirby going to get this one to the 22-yard line, 38-31. to 31. Milliard looking. Milliard throws it and give me that Yahoo, Zay. I said give me that yeah, Give me that user interception. We got this thing going back the other way. The first mistake of the game could be a costly one. We're going to run the ball with Charles. And Charles has a first down. First and 10. Our formation. We got the big guys in there. It's McLean, our fullback, gets to carry for a gain of six. Charles at the gut, 12 personnel. They open up the lane beautifully. That's a first down. The defense has one timeout left. Minute 53 on the clock. We're going to run the ball here. Sylvester gets in there for another stop. We're going to give it to McLean up the gut, brought down by Nelson. And that's going to be third down and five. Give it to McLean one more time, and he's not going to pick up the first down. So we got to set up for a field goal. They have 31 seconds on the clock as the kick is up. Kick is good. And it's going to leave them with 29 seconds as they're down by 10 with no timeouts left. First and 10 underneath pass. Caught by Hugh Anthony, but you got to go downfield. Third down and three from, the, from around the 30-yard line. Going to have all day in the pocket. Clay's Campbell can't bring him down, but Hilliard can. 
They got to hurry back to the line of scrimmage. They sent everybody deep on the Hail Mary. They probably won't get back there. I wish you had more time, San Diego. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it. 41 to 31 is the final. And the Chargers, man, even though they haven't won the game, and even though we seem to have their number every single time we play them, because we've been historically in this dynasty, in this franchise, the number one team in the West, and they've been at the bottom of the West, Marcus Miller might not be the problem. In week two when we face him, I'm like, maybe he's the issue because I saw the talent in the passing game that this team had. You got a Tim Field, uh, Hugh Anthony, Anthony McCoy. All these guys were looking good. You got Derek McCaffrey at tailback. But we just seem to have their numbers. So I don't know what the issue is in San Diego, but I think it might not be the quarterback as I look at his career numbers. He does have more touchdowns than interceptions by a wide margin. So who knows what the future holds. Anyways, that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope to wrap the rest of the day is the best today. Peace, love, hot sauce.